Hey everybody, it's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm and today we're in the Old Bird Farmhouse. I'm here with Mr. Dan, the historian, and we're going to take a look at some of the artifacts, if you will, that I have here in the house. And we're going to start out with this gorgeous rug that I had spread out on the floor here that I actually got from Mr. Dan and it's got a really cool backstory. This is a very old piece and Dan's going to tell us a little bit about it. I'm not sure if this is a rug or a mat. Uh, I would I would call it just a mat. I believe it may be the type of rug that you would have bought carpet tacks and tacked around the edges of it because it's so thin. This is more of a floor covering than a rug. Uh, when I was, uh, I, I would say in the mid 1980s, this rug was in the home of Ms. Bertha Ingram. She was our neighbor. And when Ms. Ingram broke up housekeeping and went to the nursing home, she gave me this rug out of her house and she gave me the history of it as well at the time. She told me that this rug had uh, been purchased by she and her husband around 1928, I believe. They married in 1924. And in 1928, I believe she told me that Miss Janie O'Neill broke up housekeeping herself and sold them this rug. Well, Miss Janie O'Neill was the daughter of Marshall O'Neill. And Miss Janie told her that this rug had been in her parents' house. And, you know, everybody around here knew the Marshall O'Neill home and where it stood. The house stood on the Harris and Talbot County line on Highway 208. The, uh, the, the old home was torn down in the early 1960s but the uh the site now was later there, there was a pool hall there called don's pool hall and it was on the outer edge of melody lakes just outside waverly hall but the marshall o'neill home was built sometime i believe in the 18 late 1820s by john kennan and when mr kennan uh when his estate sold the marshall o'neill family moved there and i believe they bought the place sometime in the 1830s or the 1840s well Judge Marshall O'Neill, he, you know, he later became a justice of the peace and he lived there in that house and died there in 1885. And I believe his grave marker in the cemetery says that he was uh, 70 years old at the time. So he was born about 1815 and died in 1885. Well, this was his rug and Miss Janie told Miss Bertha Ingram that this came out of the parlor. Well, Miss Bertha told me that the rug was in perfect condition when she got it that Miss Janie really treasured it. And Miss Bertha took it to their house and put it in a bedroom. And the center of the rug was always in really good condition because the bed sat right here. And the, uh, the entrance from the hallway into that bedroom at Miss Bertha's house came right across. When you, when you entered the bedroom, you walked across the foot of this rug and around the side of it to get on the bed. Well, that is where you can see the area of traffic where it is worn so bad. Uh, the rest of it was underneath the bed all that time and was pretty well protected. But when I took the rug up, I put it in storage and it stayed in storage probably 10 years, 15 years. And then I got it out in 2003, I believe, and put it in the dining room at our house here. So it was in our dining room up until just before Thanksgiving. Jennifer, my wife, decided that she wanted to just have bare floors in there because all of our floors are refinished at our home and she wanted to enjoy the floors for a while and she said, the rug has got to go. So we, we patched the rug over the years with just some you know, basic carpet tape on the back side. We never, never did anything major to it, but the rug is at least, uh, it, it was in the O'Neill family at least in 1885 when Mr. O'Neill passed away. And I would imagine that it was in there a long time before that. Um, I went on to find a grave the other night, was looking at the O'Neill uh, graves here in Waverly Hall, and I found an interesting obituary on one of Mr. O'Neill's grandsons who passed away in 1892, I believe. Yeah, he passed away in Richmond, Virginia in 1892, and he was brought back to Waverly Hall to be buried. And the mayor of Richmond, Virginia, excuse me, not Richmond, Virginia, Richmond, Indiana. The mayor of Richmond, Indiana accompanied his body back to Waverly Hall, and he described the O'Neill residence at that time. 
Uh, Waverly Hall is the homestead of the O'Neill family near Columbus, Georgia. The family appears to have been very prominent, excuse me, the family appears to have been a very prominent one in Georgia and before the war lived like princes of the realm. The war wrecked their fortune, but they saved enough out of the wreck to still leave them one of the finest homesteads in the South, which is kept up in good style. So from that, we know that the, the O'Neill residence was a very nice one um, up until probably, I think it was pretty run down by the 1950s and it was torn down. Uh, I do remember my parents uh, describing it, that it was a story and a half type house with a big porch across the front with square columns and that it had a plastered wall on the front porch the way that some of the old uh, Southern homes had. Uh, but anyway, that's the history of this rug. It went from the O'Neills to their daughter, Janie O'Neill Robertson, to Miss Bertha Ingram, to me, and now to you here at the Bird Farm. That's right. And when did you say that uh, Miss Bertha Ingram acquired the rug? She got it, I believe, she said that she married in 1924, and I believe that she went to Miss Janie's, uh, Miss Janie was having a sale selling some things around 1928. Gotcha. And that was about the time that she acquired it. But she told me that Miss Janie was, uh, that, that it was a treasured item in the family, but Miss Janie had no children. And her sister, Mary, had no children either. So uh, Mary had died, and if I'm not mistaken, I think Janie had, Janie and Mary lived together, and Miss, Miss Mary was married to Barney Robertson. And when Mary died in 1917, I think Miss Janie married Barney. I believe they married one another and continued living in the house together up there by the city hall. There's a business in that house now called the Earthly Emporium. So the house that they lived in, that they moved from the Marshall Farm, Marshall O'Neill Farm, they moved into Waverly Hall and that's where they lived out their days. But for whatever reason, Miss Janie was selling everything and, and breaking up housekeeping, maybe going to live with someone else in the family, I'm, I'm not sure. but. She sold everything she had, and this was one of the items. And it is an American-made rug. It's not anything uh, from overseas, I don't think. Uh, it is made of wool. It probably was not an expensive rug at the time that it was made. It's, it's got a manufacturing number on the back of it. It was probably ordered from some catalog. But it's an old Waverly Hall relic.